Hi, my name is Anthony Nunez, and I wanted to do an educational video highlighting a possible scenario we may be having playing out in 2018. Currently, we're seeing record low or near record low interest rates in 2018. So I took some numbers that would be indicative of typical housing prices in the Bronx or lower Westchester, where a seller who may be currently able to sell his house for $500,000 may encounter as we, as interest rates rise, which the government has already said that they're going to be rising, as interest rates rise, we may have a scenario where the seller may want to sell for maximum profit and the buyer is simply going to buy just because the interest rate is playing in his favor. So as you see, if you were to Google a 30-year loan, a mortgage, and plot some numbers down for a 30-year $500,000 loan at the interest rate of 4%, your monthly payments are going to be roughly $2,387. Now, what if interest rates go up to 5%, which we're already seeing a slight uptick towards 5%? Well, the buyer, same buyer, may only be able to buy a $450,000 house because the monthly payment is going to now be $2,416. Now, what about several months out? Let's say interest rates go up to 6%, maybe a year, two years out. Well, the same buyer that was able to buy the $500,000 house is now only going to be able to afford a $400,000 house because of the interest rate. And his monthly payment or her monthly payment will be $2,398. So for the buyer, as you can see, even though the price is going down, it won't be as significant as you think because the interest rate is going up working against you. So if you're a buyer, just go out and buy the house of your dreams now. Don't wait around. You know, the market might go down, but as you can see with these numbers, the interest rates might go against you, so it's a good time to buy right now or just as soon as possible because as a buyer, you're looking to buy into a nice interest rate. You're looking to have the tax perks of owning a home earlier. And you're looking to build equity. You want to get that 30-year mortgage out the way. Even though you might be able to get this uh, three years later for 400000 if you factor in the interest rate and now you're extending that loan, it, the numbers may not work uh, as nicely as you would think. So it may not be as much of a difference. And you're assuming that the market, that it might go down. Uh, who knows at what point it might uptick. But if you're a seller, if you're a seller, you might be seeing a scenario where this may be the best time for you to sell so that you can get this $500,000 instead of this $400,000. This is a $100,000 difference that you're going to directly feel. The buyer won't feel this, but their monthly payment will be the same. Now, these are uh, New York numbers, but you can run your numbers if you're from somewhere else, and you can probably do it with a 10% drop as the interest rate goes up, and you'll probably run similar scenario with the monthly payment. So you can try that with the numbers in your area. But as you can see, we may have a scenario where this is, may be the best time for the seller to go out and sell their property if they were planning to sell, or if they had a second home and wanted to drop down to just one home. And for the buyer, just go ahead and buy. Just go ahead and buy, because as you can see, even though you might save some with the, with the purchase price going down, your, your monthly payments will be similar because the interest rate is going up. We're at relatively low, almost historic lows in the interest rate, so might as well just go out 